My name is Ryan Lundquist. I'm a certified appraiser in the Sacramento area and today I want to show you some of the most common FHA repair items I notice while on appraisal inspections. Now don't freak out but I'm going to show you 25 quick things uh, by scrolling through some photos and most of these items are repaired very easily. Okay, So first of all, uh, green pool. Pool water should be blue, should be clear. Well, it's not in this case, that's a safety issue. If a water heater is not strapped properly according to county code or state code, then, uh, then it should be strapped. Carbon monoxide detectors are now required according to California law as of July 1st, 2011, so FHA now requires them because uh, California does. You can see here, the, the dishwasher is missing. Well, the dishwasher is supposed to be there and it should be working. If it's missing, then it's got to be there. Oops, there is a sink that's not there anymore. It's missing and uh, simply it needs to be installed. The plumbing needs to work properly. Uh-oh, AC unit's been stripped. That's so common in today's market. Well, the AC unit, if there's one that's supposed to be there, it should be there. Are you picking up a theme? I keep saying that. Here's one that's stripped. It's kind of there, but kind of not halfway gone. Well, that one actually needs to be in working order also. The appraiser is going to test the water also, and so the water has to be turned on and in working order and also going to know whether the water heater is working too. Oops, missing siding. Yeah, that could present some big problems for the economic and longevity of the property, so that is an issue. If your eaves look like this, then that's definitely a problem. Um, well, most likely, unless you just replace your roof, uh, FHA is going to require at least two years lifespan left on the roof. I see this issue frequently where a homeowner has cut into the garage firewall and compromised the firewall. This one right here is on the ceiling of the garage and the master bedroom is right above it. And so uh, fire starts, then fire's gonna spread very quickly. Standing water and foundation, yeah, that's gonna be an issue. Oops, there is no bathroom. Uh, it was currently being remodeled, and that's gonna be an issue. The bathroom should be there, should be in working order. Chipping paint, you see this anywhere. Basically, anywhere you see a defective paint surface, chipping, peeling, flaking paint, that's gonna have to be scraped properly and then uh, sealed with an FHA approved sealant or paint. Here you can see a homemade attic access in the garage. Now, it, the way that this garage was set up, it actually compromises the firewall because then now fire can get directly into the rest of the attic space. And so this would actually have to be um, completely sealed off or technically you could have a self-closing door if you can actually find one that does exist. A broken window, that's not going to fly according to FHA. You're going to definitely need to have that replaced. It's okay to have a crack, but if it's an actual break or with shards of glass sticking out, it's going to be a problem because it presents a safety issue. And also here, sliding glass door, see this commonly where one pane of glass is broken. Make sure to repair um, the glass or scrape out the shards um, so that shards aren't sticking out. Any wires you see commonly sticking out, that's definitely going to be a problem. Okay, whether that's with a stolen AC unit or, uh, you know, missing fixtures on the interior or exterior, definitely an issue. Oops, the deck uh, looks like a safety issue. You could definitely fall through, uh, break a leg. If there's any big holes in the ceiling or any huge holes in the sheetrock, that's going to be a problem. Security bars, uh, you think it might be a safety issue if there's no safety release mechanism? Absolutely. You see a house like this and you see an unknown blackish substance on the walls? Hmm, that smells like a safety issue to me, quite literally sometimes. If there are paint cans or chemicals and, you know, something looks a little funky and, you know, they're potentially spilled, well, that could create a problem. And so um, sometimes those things have to be removed if, if it looks a little fishy. And an empty pool, again, if it's not filled properly and it could present a safety issue um, for mosquitoes and lots of other things. But anyway, I hope this was helpful. I know that was quick. If you have any further questions, let me know. Check out my appraisal blog at sacramentoappraisalblog.com. I have over 40 FHA appraisal articles and um, just want to be a resource to you. Hey, take care, okay? Bye-bye.